take two. So I will probably post a little two second clip earlier, maybe, possibly, as an outtake. I pulled all the beads off. I'm now taking the little things out. You have to go like this and work that out. Now you have the hole free. And then once I've gotten all the holes free, find a tool. I have to take a tool and make sure that the hole works. Because, you know, you don't want a bead where the hole doesn't work. Anyway, that's this task. So, I have a headache. Really bad. I have a crappy cup of coffee. This last year I've been experimenting with crappy coffee. Deliberately. Because I'm a coffee snob. I'm a serious coffee snob. I roast my own beans. I buy green, single source varietals. I, I, I'm a coffee snob. You want to get my attention, buy me an expensive half pound of coffee. Don't buy me a pound. I don't drink that much. That's a lie. Um, so this last year I've been buying cheap ass coffee. I bought a pound of dollar store coffee. One dollar for 12 ounces. Because, you know, they call it a pound, but it's not a pound. I bought a pound vacuum sealed for a dollar from Grocery Outlet. One of the things with coffee a lot of people don't know is they can add caffeine under the guise of natural flavors. Which means that they can take already spent grounds grounds that were used to make instant coffee and spray it with caffeine and resell it as coffee. That's what the grocery outlet coffee was. It was completely spent grounds. There was no life in them whatsoever and a heavy bitter metallic caffeine flavor. Not a good thing. Did you notice the dyslexia of putting the beads in the wrong spot and the hook in the wrong spot? Yeah, I do that all the time. Um, my latest coffee that I'm drinking right now comes from Cash and Carry. It is the cheapest coffee that Cash and Carry sells in the ground. It's pretty darn disgusting. The hubby drinks it and says it tastes okay because the hubby has no taste buds. The hubby cannot taste bitter. He really can't. I, I got nothing for you. It tastes disgusting. I'd rather have a cup of cold reheated diner coffee than this coffee that I'm drinking right now. But I'm stubborn and I'm forcing myself to drink it because I bought it. Because if you've bought it, you have to drink it, right? Anyway, that's my life right now. Now I am clearing those holes like I said. And instead of using the needle, what I actually use is this tool right here. Where's the camera? There's the camera. And can you see the hole? You really can't see the hole, can you? But watch this. This takes a half a second of concentration. Where's the camera? There's the camera. Now can you see the hole? I think you can see the hole. Anyway, I have to clear the holes on each and every bead. I've gone to craft events and whatnot and gone to buy other people's beads and you get them home and the hole is full of crud, chafe, plasticizer, whatever. I don't think that the person buying a bead should have to do the work to make the bead usable. If you're selling something it should be fully ready to use, kind of like if you're plating somebody food, their food should be ready to eat. There are exceptions. I want Korean barbecue all of a sudden. Yeah, see there's a hole in that. This is the ugly bead from yesterday. It's still ugly. Every now and then when you fire them they change color again. This bead is a good example though of how the plastics change. So when I made this, the center piece was as big as this entire thing is. And the petals were bright red and a soft baby blue. And then it was surrounded by a navy blue. 
and as I reduced it, the bright red became pink. All kinds of shades of pink. If I had been going for pink, that would be fine, but it didn't reduce and still look good. It just, it looks meh. So I got inspired and I put some bright red, yellow, and clear around the outside and that didn't look good. So I put some more bright red around the outside. So I put some more yellow around the outside. So I put some more clear around the outside. Just trying to, can you see how messed up it is on the back? That's the end of the cane. Just trying to, to give some form, give some function. And every step of the way, as it reduced, the color kept shifting. The red kept getting eaten because the clear I was using was eating the red, turning it pink. So I fired it, hoping that it would look good. It didn't look good. So I dip it, hoping it'll look good. It doesn't look good. It's, I have a whole box of just, I'll probably give them to small kids, beads. This is the guy that was holding on to the, the soda can. Can you see him? Now the funny thing is, that's the back of that. Pretty ugly. I don't like it. I like the way they turned out when I adjusted them. Much better. I really have nothing to say today. I'm, my head hurts. I live with chronic pain and I have a headache three days out of four. And I can take something for it, but then I'm stoned and I can't focus or function. Or I can go through the day not focusing and functioning because I have a headache. It's a bad combination. It's a bad, it's an illusion of choice. You can choose to be stoned, not in pain, and not functional, or you can be in pain, not focused and not functional. Either way, you're not focused and you're not functional. But if you're in pain, I at least have my brain. Does that make sense? I can think. It takes longer, it's, it's harder, but I can think. If I take the pain pills, I'm just gonna go lay down and go back to sleep. And I'm gonna wake back up when the pain is, is muted, mellower, I'd rather be awake and living than sleep my life away. That's my choice. Um, I know people who live on pain pills. That's their choice. That bead cracked. I'll get to it later. Sometimes on thicker beads, and again, this bead is not one that I'm keeping. These are the cane ends. The end of the cane looked like that. This is the bead side. That's how I tell if I'm gonna keep the cane. When it baked, can that show up? There's cracking. Can it show up? It doesn't really show up. It would help if I could get it to focus right here, but I can't. Anyway, if the bead is really, really thick, then the outside dries before the inside dries, or seals before the inside seals and it cracks. There's a limit to how thick you can effectively do polymer clays. There's different brands of polymer clays and different clays can be thicker than others. I prefer Primo. Um, this is Sculpty 3 because it was on sale. Sculpty 3 is a much softer clay and has some problems. Clay softens, I mentioned that yesterday, and being a softer clay to begin with, that is not a clear hole. That is a clear hole. Anyway, I know most of you listening aren't really into clays. I'm just babbling. I have a headache. I mentioned the headache, right? I really like how these beads turned out. I really like the color combo and the flaring. Can I get a better camera? Come on camera, you can focus on the actual bead and show the detail. Show the detail of the bead. It refuses to focus on the bead. It's focusing on my hand instead. It refuses to focus on the bead. There's a whole bunch of detail in there that you're not seeing where it's that light purple. There's actually veins that come down into the white. It's not gonna focus. 
I really like those beads. They turned out really well. There's six of them. Because if they turn out really, really well, they only make a couple. And if they don't turn out very well, they make 35. That's kind of what life is, you know? And these beads refuse, these leaf beads were too thick, so they're refusing to clear the hole. Anyway, I'm babbling. I'm going to shut this down. We're at 10 minutes. Wow, yeah, I'm shutting this down. Um, I'll be posting a video later today at some point, maybe in the middle of the night when it loads faster. I'm going to do an AMSR, which is the So Soothing, Give You Chills kind of videos, just of me spinning, and it's actually going to be me plying that black and white strand from the day before. And it's just going to be probably 30 minutes of the spinning wheel. That'll get posted later. And I'll probably post the outtake that came before this. Anyway, see you later. Bye.